Hi and welcome on the Hands On Time, my name is Mal and I'm doing watch reviews for you. So the topic of today is about uh, the iconic Breitling Navy Timer. Uh, so quick history, you know, because it's really quick. In 1952, Willy Breitling was approached by the renowned Aircraft Owners and Pilot Association, the AOPA, to design a new chronograph for its members. Uh, he created, with the help of the genius mathematician Marcel Robert, an instrument to calculate average speed, distance flown, fuel consumption, rates of ascent and descent, and conversion of miles to kilometers or nautical miles. The case diameter is set at 41 mm, which was enormous, gigantic for the time, large enough to ensure that all the, the information provided by the dial were easy to read. The Navy Timer was finally presented to the AOPA, which immediately adopted it. So the story of today is not only a story um, of watches, but also a story of love. The story of a uh, hunter and his uh, fiancée. So he, hunter offered his fiancée a beautiful, beautiful diamond ring. In fact, the most beautiful diamond, diamond ring I ever saw in my life. And uh, in return, she, she really was smart enough, you know, to offer him uh, the iconic uh, Navy Timer in its original form, which is 41 millimeter in green, which was a 2022 release and I was um, soon about to describe to Hunter you know that this uh, is the watch of a lifetime and there you have it the Navy timer B01 chronograph 41 so they really choose um, the right name B01 really makes me think of a plane <laughs> Uh, so, like the name suggests, um, the case size is 41 millimeters, which allowed this watch to go on a big variety of wrists, and especially smaller wrists. And when you think that uh, the original size was 41 and considered gigantic at the time, you know, I really think that this watch uh, in its 41 millimeter version is the most refined uh, of all. But if you want um, a bigger watch, and you, if you have the wrists, you know, to rack um, a bigger watch, you have the 43 and 46 millimeters uh, version of this watch the thickness would be 13.7 uh, so we have a nice thickness for a pilot's watch we have a lock to lock distance of 47 millimeters which is the sweet spot uh, 47 millimeters is wonderful for small wrists uh, and um, you will be able to, to see on the on my own wrist which is 16.5 um, centimeter of, of circumference that this watch looks wonderful the log width of this watch for the strap is 22 millimeters which again allow this watch to have a, a lot of options uh, in terms of um, of bracelets you know native straps stainless steel strap Uh, you even have a stainless steel version of this watch, by the way. So, in terms of water resistance, we only have three atmospheres. So, this is a pilot's watch. It's not meant to go uh, and dive with it. You know, you don't go and swim with this watch. It's a pilot's watch. So, 30 meters, you don't do anything with it except, you know, flying with it if you're a pilot or rocking it. Um, you know, under the rain, if you want, it will be okay, but you don't go and swim with this watch, it's not made for it. So, the crystal is made out of sapphire and it's glare proofed uh, both sides, uh, which means you have an entire reflective system on both sides of the sapphire crystal on this watch. So, um, the price on this watch is really high and it's normal because the movement is in house. And when you say in house movement, well, you say luxurious you know and uh, it has a cost so the movement inside of this watch is just quite tremendous they are calling it the tech 205 it beats at 28,800 uh, beeps per hour and it has 70 hours of uh, power reserve the cost now I'm gonna unveil the cost of this watch it's eight thousand and seven hundred euros uh, for us in Paris in here uh, in its um, leather uh, version um, speaking and talking about leather uh, the strap the wonderful strap on this watch is made out of crocodile okay it's genuine crocodile uh, a genuine crocodile strap and let's play a little with the chronograph so you see me pushing on this button and in fact you really need to go for it you know it's not a cheap watch The buttons uh, don't joke on this watch. You really need to go for it. So it's a start and stop watch. Look at this sweep. Look at the sweep of this beautiful chronograph. 
beautiful. So a start and stop, so you push it back, you push back the same button and push the button on the downside, you know, to, to reset it. Again, I'm starting it. Beautiful sweep for this chronograph. Of course, it's a brightling. You stop it with the same button, like the 1963 Seagull or the Speedmaster from Omega, same, same type of watch, and, um, and it works perfectly. The instruments on this watch are wonderful. So look at this, um, this sunburst, this beautiful sunburst and the concentric you know, circles on um, every wheel. So the wheel that you have on your right is uh, the wheel of the chronograph. It's a 30 minutes wheel. Uh, the, um, the wheel that you have um, at uh, 6 o'clock uh, would be uh, a wheel that follows the time. You have also the date complication that is inserted in this wheel. Beautifully, beautifully made, beautifully executed. And the wheel that you have um, at uh, 9 o'clock um, would be the seconds. And uh, of course, they, they re-implanted, you know, the AOPA sign on this version. Uh, like the first, you know, Breitling. Beautiful. Navy timer, Breitling. Swiss made at 6 as well. Honestly, this watch is gorgeous. It's, it's a, a, a truly a beautiful watch. So satin finish on the sides. Of course, you have uh, still the stickers on it. Sorry for that, but it's satin finish on the sides. And uh, have a look at this beautiful movement. I mean, the, um, the skeletonized, you know, the rotor for the occasion. Beautiful, beautiful. And a sort of a perlage, which is not really a perlage, but the decoration on the movement is crazy. And there you go for the wrist shot. So, as you can see, like I told you, 16.5 centimeters of circumference my wrist is. And look how it stands. This watch goes beautifully with blue. Okay, green goes well with blue, uh, brown and uh, gray. So, of course, it's a chronograph, but it's a watch you can rock with a suit. Without any problems. And especially the 41 millimeter uh, version of it. Okay, I wouldn't rock like a, a 46 millimeter watch with a... With a suit, but the, the, the 41 uh, goes really tremendously well with a suit. I was actually, you know, uh, wearing a suit uh, this night. We shot uh, this video at night. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Look at it. Super, super um, beautiful on, um, on small wrists. You know, stands beautifully. Uh, the lugs, look at the curve of the lugs, really help you know, uh, to make this watch stand beautifully on, uh, on my wrist. And here it is on Hunter's wrist. Look how it looks on him. He's got like even maybe smaller wrist than mine. And or maybe the same, I guess the same. And look how it looks beautiful. It looks dashing on him. So let's take a little moment, you know, to to look at the strap. So this is um, the deployment, you know, a system. Uh, that they put on this beautiful crocodile. Croco véritable, which means in French, uh, you know, genuine crocodile. Uh, they put some yellow, a yellow color. Here you have the, the beautiful uh, movement with all the, the rubies, you know. There's the stickers, they are still on it, sorry for that. But you... You can see how beautiful it looks. So let's use uh, another instrument, which is the bezel. Look at the bezel. The stiffness of the bezel really ensures um, a beautiful precision, you know, uh, of this instrument. It's stiff, but it's um, stiff for a reason, you know. When you put it on a, on a position, it does not move anymore. Look at it. Beautiful. Really, really precise, as you can see. Replaced it on its position. And there you go for the loom shot. So I saw many videos, you know, talking about the loom on this watch, saying that um, it wasn't effective enough. Honestly, it's, 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 it's BS. The, the, the loom on, on this watch is tremendously good. And uh, if you know a little bit about watches, you know that pilot watches are not supposed to have a lot of loom anyway. So final thoughts. Final thoughts are easy. This watch is beautiful. The, the, the green version of this watch is uh, 
incredible. You have a cream version of this watch, but the green version is really, truly special. It's uh, built for many lifetimes. And um, this is a watch that a hunter will be able, you know, to pass on to his children, for sure. Uh, the quality of this watch screams uh, luxury, quite simply. Uh, the instrument, the, um, the satisfaction that you get out of uh, using this watch is really good. Uh, I had the opportunity to have, uh, you know, many, many um, Breitling 46 millimeters on site. Wasn't uh, truly infatuated with, the, with them, but the 41 millimeter is truly a watch that um, you would long for. You know, sign crown, by the way, as you can see, beautiful movement. How, how can you resist uh, a movement this beautiful? No, honestly, this watch is, uh, is nuts and um, I, I completely understand the price of it. Uh, but uh, above, you know, uh, all of this, there's, uh, there's Hunter. And uh, Hunter is a really, really, really nice guy. Honestly, we, we've talked a lot and uh, he, the gift that he has is um, his heart. He has a beautiful heart. And uh, I'm sure that um, your children, Hunter, will be beautiful, as beautiful as your fiance and yourself are. And that's the wish I have for you, you know, to have beautiful children. And enjoy this watch because you really deserve it. Uh, so yes, these are my final thoughts. And um, if you have a heart yourself, you know, wish Hunter and his um, beautiful fiance a beautiful marriage. So like, subscribe and comment uh, if you like what you saw, you know. Smash the like button, it really truly helps the, the channel. And um, like I'm always saying, you know, take care of yourself because nobody will do it for you. Bless you Hunter. Bye bye.